we go. Now I'm here, I think. How's it going, guys? Hope you guys are having a good night. What's up, Beth? Miss W, YouTube Grandma, Linda, how's it going? Got my tea here. Thanks to YouTube Grandma. <laughs> cold one. Yeah, cold one today. But we got a fire going. Staying warm. Ah, good evening. Sorry, chat's a little slow here. There it goes. Okay. What's up, John? Yeah, so I wanted to do a little update on the cadaver dog. Um, the uh, so the last PayPal fundraiser ended up like ended uh, ended up ended and. Uh, ended at six thousand seven hundred forty two dollars and sixty one cents so need like a Woo. applause like sound effect yeah so um yeah, and applause. yeah thank you yeah, yeah. Round of applause um and so that's how much um like it was for uh, and then like well the amount that we get after the fees is six thousand two hundred seventy forty one i can show you guys Jesus. <laughs> I, know, I can take a picture of it. Anyways, green screen. Yeah. But um, but yeah, so that one ended up there. So we started another one um that's gonna be for six thousand dollars, and that'll get us to the um eleven three mark and then some for tax and everything like that. So yeah, so it'll be uh it'll be good. So yeah, thank you to everybody who's helped us uh get this far. Um let me see here, I think. I think this is the, this should be the one for the new, um, I'll post the it. new, I, yeah, I think I put it in chat. Mm -hmm. So if you could, yeah, if you want to pin it, Ooh, sorry, I'm hitting the screen here, but yeah, so that's the plan and, um, yeah, that's, that's what we're going to do. And then when we <clears throat> pick up the dog, uh, the plan is probably to, um, Depending on when we get the dog, probably gonna head south and try to search for some people down south, just because of the weather, um, and then make our way back here this way, and then hopefully by the time we get back here, it'll be uh, good enough weather we can go out searching with the dog then. So yeah, that's the plan. What's up, Sherry? Thank you for the reminder to tap the like button. <laughs> I forget sometimes. 16 outside right now, geez. That's cold. Yeah, that's too cold. Daniel Robinson's story disappeared in Arizona. I'll have to check that out. You write that. Let me write that down. Daniel Robinson's out of Arizona. Yeah, we're going to, we have a list of people that, um, different places that we're going to look into. Right now being that we're here in like northeastern, or sorry, northwestern Nevada. Or wait, no, we are in northeastern Nevada. What am I saying? What are you I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> now that we're yeah, we are in northeast uh, northeastern Nevada. That's kind of where we can concentrate on right now, uh, as we can be more mobile. We plan on searching for other people, but uh, yeah, just kind of trying to focus on Dylan, Susan, and Tommy right now, though. Um, but and then Aiden too. Too. Yeah, once we get the dog. Um, yeah. So yeah, I think uh, having the dog though is going to be really. Uh, beneficial though so yeah it'll be good be able to help out a lot more people yeah yeah exactly
Yeah, we got lots of Utah people in the chat. <laughs> I mean, we're practically in Utah. I mean, really close. Thank you so much, YouTube Grandma. Yeah, and when you do that, we just um, send that the full 50 in. I know YouTube takes some of the money, but I don't, it's it's all good. Some people are worried about that, but thank you for the donation. Yeah. How long will the dog be able to track cadaver? Months, years? Uh, so typical, um, you know, I think like working years on those dogs um, varies from like probably around like around 10 years, I'd say. And they're not really and tracking they're not, dogs. They're like, and I would say 10 years would be like the most you could get out of it because it takes about two years to train the dog. And then to get 10 years after that, the dog would be like 12. Be a pretty old dog. Um, so it'd have to be in pretty good shape. You know, it'd probably vary from dog to dog based on, um, you know, how, how healthy the dog is. Um, our dog wouldn't be in like a service situation where it would be under, I think, as much stress maybe as some of the service dogs. Um, not that there's anything, you know, wrong with that, but, um, but our dog, I don't think would be as stressed as maybe some of those other dogs. Um, so it might, you know, have a few more years. So we'll see. I don't know. It depends. But I think they're asking how long will the dog be able to track, like track a scent. It's not a scent tracking dog, what we're getting. We're getting a dog that can uh, Oh, track like scent. Oh, bones. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's like what scent saying. afterwards. Okay. So yeah. So cadaver dogs, a really cool, unique thing about them is that they can track bones. So like 50 year old, 70 year old human bones, they're able to pick up the scent of that bone completely different scent than other animal or like bones sense give off. Of like decay, the level of decay. Or, level, or different levels of decay from human remains. So at different states of decomposition with the human body, it gives off different smells. So um, the, the, yeah, there's different bugs that come around that they can smell for too, but um, that's another thing that they train the dogs for too is the different stages of decomposition and then also the uh, smell of the bone too um yeah so that's so that's why cadaver dogs can track uh remains for years you know so it's not a um, scent so it's not necessarily like a bloodhound like where you'd have to have blood to still have a scent um they can they can go off of uh bone so i hope that clears that answers that question Sorry, I, I misunderstood it at first. Thank you, Kimber, for <laughs> He said uh, a woman went missing on a hike in 2020 here in Ketchum, Idaho, a few hours north. Her name was Fern Baird. You know, I read that one too. Yeah. Thanks, Easy. Uh, easy does it. <laughs> or Easy D's it, I guess. Yeah, we'll stay together, Violet. Yep. Makes it easier because we homeschool. So everything is kind of, uh, you know, at our pace, you know, kind of a thing. And at the kids' pace, as long as we get it done, you know. So um, that, that makes it a little bit easier um, since we've, we've, already, we've been doing that for a while. Um, yeah. Okay, so this lot, this fundraiser is going to be up for another thirty days. PayPal will only allow you to do thirty days, thirty day fundraisers. Um, so we're just going to try to, uh, you know, raise like we were able to raise over six grand this last time. So I think we can do it um, in the thirty days. I think we can. I think it's possible. I mean, if we don't, we're, yeah, if we don't, we don't. I mean, it's no big deal. We can, we can start another one if we have to after that. Um, 
and go from there. You know, if, you know, we're just going to play it by ear kind of, um, yeah. So. Oh yeah. I heard about the, um, students at university of Idaho. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's really sad. It's crazy. Yeah. I don't know. There's a, I don't know if you guys have seen the surveillance video from the food truck that they were at that night. Twitch video. Yeah. It's like a Twitch video. Yeah. It's pretty, um, I don't know. There's a guy that's pretty suspect in that video that, um, he's just, he's just like watching them. He's like not really there with anybody. He's in a white hoodie. He's got white, uh, sneakers on. He's wearing a baseball cap. Um, he's got like a jacket on over his hoodie. Uh, yeah, it's just, you know, I think, you know, investigators are already trying to talk to that guy. Um, so, but you can just see in that video, he's just like watching him. He's not really there with anybody. He's acting really weird. Uh, he's, I noticed he is like having this conversation with this other guy in the beard. That seems like it's kind of like a forced conversation, really kind of awkward conversation. So, um, yeah, it's too bad. It's like, that's, it's. Like I don't, it's I don't even have like two bads like just not even the right words, you know. <clears throat> uh, Kimber, uh, she's gonna be with the kiddos. I'm gonna be doing the training with the dog. But then once we you get home, you can kind of. But yeah, once we'll we get home, like we'll all interact with the dog, so they're you know the dog's comfortable with us and everything, and, and the family and everything. But um, as far as like cadaver handling i'm probably going to be um, i'm going to be doing the uh handling with the dog um just because i'm the one that's kind of we're all we all go out together but like if there's like a place where we kind of have to i got to get up you know and it's really steep terrain or kind of dangerous stuff you know me and the dog will go type type deal i wouldn't want to send kimber into that kind of situation so I like hanging out with my kiddos <laughs> She doesn't mind. Yeah. <laughs> I'll learn stuff here and there, but Lance yeah. will be better at handling the dog and all that than I will. I already know. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thank you for the questions. Uh, yeah, so I've heard, well, I've read that they can um, smell up to 15 feet down. So that's, uh, I think that's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, a lot of people think that they can uh, hide a body far enough down. I don't think so. Those dogs, will smell it. Those dogs will smell it out. So problem is, is that there's just not very many of the dogs. There's like, I think I've heard around 500 or so in the United States working cadaver dogs. Um, and there's none in our area for like three or four hours. Uh, drive away so it's not easy to get cadaver dogs out here to search for people so be nice to have yeah them out here. yep and even other rescues we've talked to have yeah. said how nice it would be to have another dog team out this way yeah. so they wouldn't have to drive all the way out here they know it'd still get done yeah other yeah search teams i don't know if you could hear what kimber was saying uh you can move a little bit closer so they, so they can hear you a little just bit trying better. To watch the kids. Move the pumpkin cookies. <laughs> um, but yeah, they could uh, basically really use a cadaver dog out here in this area is what they were saying. So, Thanks, YouTube Grandma. Escape the snow. <laughs> yes, we did. Uh... Well, that's cool. Newbie says, uh, uh, got the son of a cadaver dog, not trained in that field, but he can find anything you ask him to. Amazing. What breed are we getting? We don't know yet. Um, so what, how this works is basically when we, when we raise the money, we're going to, um, contact the, uh, they're called Highland Canine out of North Carolina. Uh, we contact them and they select the dog and it takes like one to two months for them to select it because they have to make sure that it's going to be good it's got to pass certification um before we get it before it starts training with me it passes certification so it can go on searches 
Um, so it has to do that. Um, they have to make sure that it's a cadaver dog and, you know, everything's right. So we put down, it's like half the money uh, for the deposit on the dog. And then they select the dog. And then once they select the dog, we come out and uh, train with the dog for two weeks. And then after that, after the two-week training, we can take the dog out on searches with us. So that's how it's working. I'm not sure what the breed's going to be. Um, I think they usually work with like Labrador, um, German Shepherd. What was the other? I always say it wrong. <laughs> they, they, the M1. They, yeah, the M. It's like, um, yeah, I'm not going to try to say it. I don't it. even Mal remember I don't know how to say it. Yeah, I'm not going to try to say it. I say the wrong thing. I say Malamute or something. Ma and that's yeah, not it's not it. Malamute. Yeah, so, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to have to, like, I don't know. That's really sad that I can't remember how to say a dog name, though. Uh, but, yeah, it's a, it's a M, M1. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, geez. That's really bad. I can't remember that dog name. Oh, there you go. Malanese. Mal yeah, Malanese. Yeah. Kind of looks like mayonnaise. Yeah. <laughs> Mount Noir, yeah, that's probably it's a uh, French, right? Yeah. Hey, hey. Yeah. Where's your book? You're supposed to be looking at your book. But yeah, and it's from they have dogs that are you know from working cadaver dogs that are you know proven good cadaver dogs. So that's why we're going with them, and it's not too horribly expensive like other um, companies that we price it out at. So that's reasonable. Yeah, reasonable enough for how much it is so yeah but yeah it's a lot of training a lot of training though yeah afterwards well the dog that we'll get we we'll already have two years of training before we even get to see him before that yeah exactly yeah and then we have to keep up his training and that was part of the problem was that trying to do that training where we live out here we would have to drive like four hours one way so it's like eight hours eight hours a week to train and that's just you know the time not to mention the gas of eight hours of driving yeah once a week for two years so and then that and then for those two years i wouldn't be able to use the dog on searches or anything i would have to wait till it's uh, certified to bring it on a search so yeah i feel like uh yeah this is going to be a this is going to be a lot, uh, a lot better. We'll be able to be out here a lot quicker. Oh, well, that's cool. Michael Snyder says he's got a hearing dog. Um, lets him know the phone's ringing or the doors or the doorbell's ringing. Oh, that's awesome. And is a licensed taco dog. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Certified food tester. <laughs> Yeah, our dogs are all certified food testers as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, somebody said... I don't know. Somebody said somebody's not a suspect anymore. They announced a bunch of stuff at 3 p.m. today. I didn't hear that. I think they're, they're not. I don't think they're talking about Dylan's case. They're oh, you're not talking about, about Dylan's case. They're talking about else. the. Okay, uh, sorry, sorry. Students, sorry. I think. College I think. Students. I could okay, be gotcha, wrong. gotcha, gotcha. Okay. But I think it's the college student. Okay, my bad. That's what I get for trying to assume. I think. Oh, you're good. Have a good night, Beth. Okay, so we would notify law enforcement uh, if the dog picks up on anything or signals anywhere. We would notify, we would first take GPS coordinates, um, take like a picture of uh, where the dog signaled, and, and then uh, notify law enforcement. Uh, and then they can, um, then they would basically go out and search the area with their uh, team and do what they need to do. But that would be... Uh, that's this. That's the order of operation. Once you, uh, once the dog signals. Malinois, thank you, Jen, Janice, Mail. Oh, sorry, Malinois, Malinois. 
That's easy to remember. Malin Ross. I yeah, I don't know why <laughs> that was so hard. <laughs> Malin Gator. Oh, that's how you say it. <laughs> Malin Ross. I got it. All right. Have a good night, YouTube Grandma. <laughs> he said no night. people food for dogs. Night. Sometimes they... They got to have a little treat. Yeah, have little treats. I'm not like sitting there feeding them like four course pasta meals. Like I'm just, you know, little taste test here and there. I think any vet will tell you that it's not going to kill them. I'm sure there's some that'll say that you're probably the worst owner and will get reported to PETA, but I don't know. <laughs> I crack up the um, cowboy Kent Rollins, you know, the dude, he's on like, he, he's, a, he's got a YouTube, he always feeds his dog, he always gives his dogs a, he does. a scraps, yeah, he's always he's like he's certified, cooking. yeah, they're his food testers, yeah, Girl. they look like healthy dogs to me, you know. What's up, girl? The budgie parakeets. We have two budgie parakeets. Huh? Yeah, I'm talking about you. Yeah. Get her a rocker head. Yeah. Sometimes she don't, she doesn't like to perform. Yeah, but She's I know. Some people feed their dogs every day raw meat. Oh. Oh, yeah, I've heard that actually that's good sometimes, you know, for them. Yeah, like because raw meats have like enzymes and stuff that's actually beneficial. Like if you're not feeding them like pork, like raw pork or like, you know, bad raw stuff for them, like beef, like raw beef, or, like, you know, raw fish. That's good for you. Like, you know, you, you could eat that. Like we could eat that. You know, we eat raw like fish. Raw fish. Like raw I beef like though. Fish. Yeah, it's, it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> Dogs will Jedi trick their way into people food eventually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just a little taste now and then, you know. My dog growing up would like he he, he was like notorious for the trash. Like he was like a little trash thief. Oh, <laughs> Sport would he was like we have like pictures of him with like with his like nose in the trash with like pizza hanging out of the trash and he's just like looking up at you like what? Remember my first Christmas with your family and he got into my purse and ate all the candy out of my purse I had for your brothers. <laughs> <laughs> he would eat like pounds of chocolate, that dog. Yeah, he did. And he was fine. Like he had farts the rest of the night. But other than that, like he was completely the worst fine. farts. Yeah. Uh, I felt I was so he embarrassed when he got into my purse. Though, yeah. I was like, oh, a good dog. dog. <laughs> good boy sport. Yeah. He's up in heaven now, though. He's an old boy. Yeah, he's old. He he had a good old long life. <laughs> Birdies, yeah, are super excited to be part of the stream. They usually get really excited too. It's funny, like they know. Yeah, they're funny. They're smart. Of course, I mean, they know. I put I'll put on like um, the budgie parakeet sounds. It's actually pretty cool. Um, there's like ones from Australia, like an aviary in Australia that they did. It's like up on YouTube, but awesome. you can just, yeah, they just, um, you know, it's like budgies talking and they get, they get really excited when that comes on and they'll talk and they'll talk, you know, they'll talk funny. for like an hour when we had that on number. Yeah. They just when it stop. it was funny. Yeah. And I put some, I put some of that red dirt from like, from by the mines up there in their, uh, little cage we got for them. Well, it's not very little, but, um, and they've been really liking that, I think, because it's got like a uh, like iron in it, the dirt. And I was looking, I was watching that channel, and there the the, the parakeets were like digging and eating the dirt. So I was like, okay, I think I got to get some for mine. So they've been uh, liking it because the girl one, her nose is like super red now, and mm -hmm. it wasn't wasn't very red before. So I think she like needed the iron or something. So I don't, I didn't know that about parakeets. Like they would need dirt, like they would want to eat dirt, but they call it. Um, some sort of uh it's like some it's eating it's like it's not diatomaceous because i want to say that because it's like diatomaceous earth but it's like it's a word like that where they they need to eat like uh you know dirt pretty much it's good for them 
Yeah. No, they've been like in pecking around in there. Yeah. But they like there's wood chips at the bottom usually, and they like that. Yeah, I just had wood chips, you know, for them before, but now they got. I used to chew on those. Yeah, now they got the uh, little bit of patch of dirt in there. They're liking it. Oh, yogurt's good for the dogs too. Yeah. Yogurt. Yeah. Oh. Like sometimes if they have like yeah like sometimes that kind of stuff or like the almond milk or stuff like that at the store for like cheap like really cheap we'll just get that and give it to them. They really like it. Yeah, or like the, what else? The kefir. That stuff's really good too. I really like kefir. What's up, Grandma Bunny? Hope you're doing good tonight. The parakeets? Yeah, they're small. I think that's what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to have like scents for the dog. Um, they're not super cheap, but it, I'm working on ways to acquire them. Uh, so, yeah, but you got to get some scent for the dog, too, to, to uh, train with the dog, like, every week, every day, um, be training with the dog. So, yeah, walk past the cemetery. That would be nice, right? <laughs> hey, there is one in town. There is one in town, but... <laughs> There's actually two out here. Yeah, it might, he might get thrown off and be signaling everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's our weather like tonight? Uh, cold. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, our weather tonight, it's going to be cold, yeah. It's uh, cold here in the high desert, SoCal, yeah. It's cold here too, Kelly, yeah. We get down to 13 degrees today. 13 degrees, yeah. 13 degrees. Let me go chop a little bit of wood. <laughs> yeah. I know I put on the fire before the stream, now it's dying out, but. Still warm, so. <laughs> Down to 31 now for Michael. Yeah, Michael, he's over in Oregon, huh? Yeah. It's cold. Snow yet? Yeah, we've gotten snow. In our premiere tomorrow, you'll see snow. Yeah, yeah. So we'll have a yeah premiere coming out tomorrow. I don't know why YouTube's doing this to us. It's like they're not notifying people that we have new content up. So I figured just it's not like I'm like trying to promote our stuff like constantly, but it's like I feel like YouTube's not <laughs> letting people know that it's uh out there. So like even if have people have notifications, because like I get even if, yeah, every day. even if people have notifications on and everything like that, people still tell us that they're not getting notified of the new stuff that we put up. So. And I know it's not going out there because I can see it in the numbers. Um, so it's all good, though. But, um, but yeah, I'll just <laughs> tell you guys now that we have a video coming out tomorrow. Uh, at, what is it? 3 p.m., I think? 3? Should, should be 3. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, we're uh, climbing the mountainside up to two verticals. So, yeah, I like it. It's good. It's a good one. So... Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's all we had to talk about, pretty much, yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to really talk about the dog. You know, like what we were doing with the dog. And, oh, and all the money that we already have raised okay. for the dog is going into our nonprofit, yeah. into, like, the – into that account, and it's just going to sit there until the rest of it comes um, in the savings. for the rest of the yeah. – yeah, in the savings account. So, so yeah, it, so all the money that we raised, yeah, I'll just in case – In case you didn't hear that, so. yeah. All the money that we raised from our fundraiser last time, we took that and we put it into our nonprofit bank account, and it's going to sit there until we can buy the dog. So, yeah. Yeah, people were worried what we were going so to do. So, people, yeah, I think some people had questions like what was going to happen after the um, fundraiser was over, if we didn't have enough money, what was going to happen with the money or whatever. So, um, I think with some fundraisers, like they donate it back to everybody if, it, if you don't reach the goal. But with PayPal fundraisers, they we we keep like the money after the fees, um, so we keep that six thousand two hundred and some odd dollars, and we put that into our savings, and then 
So it's going to stay there until we can get the dog. So, yeah. Yeah, it's just transferring right now from PayPal to the account. So. Yep. Yeah, so. And it's a weekend, so it's not going to happen today. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, oh, uh, let's see here. June, sorry, June. I'm just trying to tell everybody what's going on so you all know. <laughs> what's up, Mitch? Yeah, mm -hmm. anything ice cream, yogurt, cottage cheese, whipped cream. Oh, whipped cream, yeah. Our dogs like whipped yeah. cream. At Starbucks, they yeah. call them puppuccinos. <laughs> My dog killer. I okay. I used to take him to get those sometimes. I love that dog. He was my favorite. Uh, yeah. June's asking about the EquiSearch find. I don't or the EquiSearch. Um, like when they were searching the wash, I don't think they found anything. I think we would have heard by now. Yeah, we would have heard something by now if anything came up. But, um, yeah. Now no, they no, no, now they can't yeah. now they can't search anymore because the ground's too frozen. Yeah, dogs can't smell dogs, when like, it's so, yeah, after thirty four degrees. Yeah, after it's like thirty four degrees, the dogs they don't even like the dogs to be outside, really. So, um, yeah. Well, it's not doing anything because they can't smell anything. Well, the yeah, they, frozen, the, the ground's yeah. frozen, so they can't smell. So it's um, yeah, they can't really use them when the when it's so cold out, but. That's why when we pick up our dog, we're going to be traveling south and we're going to head down south and be searching for people on the way back here. So it'll be warmer. we'll be mobile. Yeah. But yeah, it'll be warmer so we can actually uh, put the dog to use. And yeah, it'll be, it'll be good. I think it'll be fun. Seeing some uh, different areas. So take you guys along for the ride. Of course. I mean, I wouldn't. Could not do that. Puppuccinos. Very <laughs> good, June. I got what you meant, I think, yeah. He got him every once in a while when he was a really good boy. And mommy really needed a coffee. <laughs> yeah. And please don't feel bad that for whatever if you Sandy, if you're saying you can't contribute, you're contributing. Just like you watching this is contrib contributing. So thank you. So we appreciate please don't. It. Yeah. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. So thanks for spending yeah, time with us. Thanks for spending people. time with us. <laughs> yeah. Boring people. And yeah. So yeah, we're going to, you know, we're going to get it done no matter what, you know, like no matter how long it takes, you know, like if we have to, so if we have to come up with the money like ourselves like the other half like we'll do it like you know we'll save up the money and we'll do it you know time, it'll take a little bit of time for us but that's what we'll do you know so it'll um yeah my lab pup i wish i could gosh i wish i could i wish that would save me so much money <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately we didn't i didn't buy when i was when i bought my dog it was just from like craigslist ad and it was like you know uh, a mutt, you know, a lab and, um, awesome dog, you know, nothing wrong with that, but, um, he's not like from like a cadaver dog line. And, uh, unfortunately for cadaver dogs, if you want to be serious in this, if you want to, um, basically, uh, have success in this field, like you need to get a dog from a proven breed. I'm sure there's, you know, success stories of people getting rescue dogs or, you know, whatever, and that's awesome because I'm sure those people are like amazing dog trainers or whatever. And that dog was perfect for that person or, you know, I'm sure that it's an amazing story. That's awesome. Nothing wrong with that. Um, but for our situation, uh, those <laughs> our dogs are not cadaver dogs at all. They just, uh, yeah, they're just not built for that. Um, but there's nothing wrong with that. We still love our dogs and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they're just not uh, not for cadaver work. If you want a farm dog, yeah, but they are good farm dogs, dogs. <laughs> good family dogs. Um, so yeah, you still have four puppies for sale. Yeah, we still have some little puppies that we're trying to rehome. So the last two, <laughs> the last two that we sold, that money went into the nonprofit. Yeah, the profits from that. That's not for charity. I just want them to go to a good home. Oh, I see. So you really need to do shop. Need to shop. 
What? Oh yeah, so we really need to shop for the dog. Yeah, so yeah, that's why we're having to buy the dog and we can't just uh, train one of our dogs. Yep. <laughs> Grandma Bunny says, I've trained 40 dogs and you're doing the exact right thing. Thank you, <laughs> Grandma Bunny. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for the support. We appreciate the love. Thanks, Sandy. I'm good. Thank you, Sandy. We appreciate that, keeping us in your prayers. Yeah, we we'll keep you guys in our prayers, too. Yeah, it really is like a big family here. Wiener dogs are good trackers. That's awesome. <laughs> we had a, a wiener chihuahua mix. Chihuini. Right. She was awesome, Ollie. She was a cool dog. That was Kane's dog. Happy Thanksgiving, Kelly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Canada had their Thanksgiving like last month or something like that. Way early. I don't know what they're thinking. Crazy Canadians. I'm fi I'm fine with celebrating it more than once. I think we should. We should. We I should. Turkey, why not? We should celebrate the Canada Thanksgiving, and then we should celebrate our Thanksgiving. Just Riley's birthday is right by Thanksgiving, so we kind of do celebrate and if there's Thanksgiving a twice. Mexican Thanksgiving, we should celebrate Mexican. Ow, Thanksgiving. Why did you? <laughs> She Did just, it really go in your shirt? Like BB me. <laughs> I just got BB. All right. <laughs> Did it really go in? Yeah, I don't know where it That's went. That's funny. Gotcha. Man, I'm I'm all for Mexican Thanksgiving because that sounds good. Tacos, mm. burritos, Rice beans. Please stop making me. Here for dinner. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah, we're getting crazy here. <laughs> but yeah, guys. So we'll have a new video coming out. What tomorrow? Tomorrow yeah. at three. Tomorrow at three p.m. Um. Yeah. I feel like my battery's dying right now too. I haven't yawned yet, but it's coming. <laughs> yeah. It's a good. Be good, family dog. Mm. Yep. And it, yeah. The dog will be inside with us. I don't know if it's like people trolling or what. People are like, you can't have a cadaver dog and leave him outside. I'm like, why would I? Like, Who <laughs> in their right mind, I'm sorry, would buy a dog for that much money and then yeah. leave it outside for somebody to come and steal? Or for it to run away? Or for that dog to just, you know what I mean? No, nope, sorry. Yeah. That's not happening at this house. No. That dog will have his own little bed in here and that dog will be in heaven yeah we'll stay warm guys you stay well stay warm thanks kelly it has a shoe bill you're right what we learned about them today at school huh are you serious grandma bunny what happened oh no um okay well we're gonna like i'm gonna have to set up something for that then All right, I'm going to email you, Grandma Bunny. Yeah. All right, guys. We love you guys. Everybody, keep Grandma Bunny, Grandma, Grandma Bunny in your prayers. Um, yeah, we love you guys. Have a good night. Okay? Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, YouTube Grandma. And Grandma Bunny. <laughs> and Grandma Bunny. We'll see you guys. You guys have a good night, okay? Yeah.